There it is, little 123. So let's give you a little status update, what's been going on. I've been a bit under the weather, so I haven't attacked it the way I wanted to. Still got the compound turbos out while I uh, work on the motor mounts, and um, I have to put the oil pan back on for that second oil drain. Uh, there's the new motor mounts that we fixed up in another video. Uh, you can see I've got the gas tank out, a lot of junk shoved inside the car. Wiring is pretty much done um, except for the door accessories, right? the door actua lock actuators, the windows. I just need to uh, really wire up that um, connector for the steering column. And then I can go ahead and put that in power braid, weld up a few more holes, and then put the AC in. So let's make our way to the back. Now originally I was going to use a POR15 equivalent uh, from Summit Racing to detail the trunk. Uh, instead, I went with bed liner. Uh, part of the reason I decided to do this was because of all the seam sealer that Mercedes uh, felt inclined to use. I guess they had a uh, party at the seam sealer station <laughs> because it was pretty thick. Uh, it took a couple days actually to grind as much of that out as I could. I didn't want to remove it all uh, because it's there for a reason, uh, but I did want uh, some somewhat smooth surface. Now, um, the product I use is Herculiner. It's right here. Um, I like it, uh, except it's a little too coarse for me. And um, I've never used it before, and it will do the job, and I think it will look okay. Uh, but the sheen, it's really glossy. I was hoping for more of a matte finish. And also, uh, like I said, it's a little coarse. But I think I just need to get used to it. Also, it's going to take a couple days to dry, so maybe that will uh, get toned down a little bit once it, it starts to dry out. So this is two coats. Um, I had a hole over here. Uh, when I ran uh, vegetable oil uh, in the car, I actually had a um, boat gas tank sitting in here, and I ran uh, some PEX tubing through there along with the fuel line uh, to keep that tank warm. So I did uh, go ahead and weld that up, show you some pictures of that. Um, but for the most part, I think it looks cleaner. So it should be protected pretty good now, too. I think this stuff's going to be on here for a lifetime. So I'll need to come back and um, do the rubber and detail and clean up around the, uh, the trim uh, or the uh, the jam here. And I think it uh, will look a lot better, probably paint the hinges. Also, I noticed uh, when I was taking things apart, uh, the part of the reason I've been having trouble with the sunroof is my sunroof cable is broken. So that explains why it wouldn't go that uh, last little bit. So I need to go ahead and find another sunroof cable, pull that out, replace it, and then I can get that back together. So things are going to start progressing pretty quick here. Uh, i got to go do a trade show next week. I have to do a couple uh, seminars, if you will, at an Oracle conference. Um, but when I get back, uh, we should start making bigger strides in this. Uh, my goal, immediate goal, is to get it on the road as soon as possible, and then um, I'll come back and finish up the interior, swapping out the uh, Palomino color for black. I do have uh, uh, Auto Verde rods on order. I'm excited about that. Uh, some head studs, some springs are coming my way from F-Tune. So I am going to pull this out. I'm going to have the head done. I, I need to have the... Uh, the new rod or the pins uh, pressed on to, to get the rods swapped out and then we're going to just freshen this up a little bit so like I said should be coming together pretty soon or pretty quickly once I get the, all these things uh, in motion so thanks for watching uh, you guys are great lots of feedback um, I enjoy it and if, if anybody can learn anything from these um, that's great that's what it's all about have a great day